Week five, think of your day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When you begin eating at any given time of the day, you are literally breaking the fast. Before your fast is broken, your metabolism has dropped considerably during your fasting period or resting period, such as sleeping. This is the best time to eat carbohydrates because your body has spent all its energy on sleeping and repairing. It's also a great time to set yourself up for the day. So including fats and proteins is a good idea. But remember, everything must be tracked. You might have a snack for lunch, but you have missed a big part of your energy intake for the day and you are running on fumes. So instead of teaching your body to eat food, you have now taught it not to eat food, which is classed as a bad habit. So guys, just to reiterate on that point that if you are just having a snack and not a proper meal for lunch, that may actually be classed as a bad habit because you're not actually spiking your metabolism high enough to be able to burn more fuel. Therefore, your body may think that it is starving. And if it feels that it is starving, instead of it burning body fat, it might actually start to turn to burning muscle tone, which we don't want to happen. By the time you eat dinner, your body is starting to wind down and therefore your energy requirements are different. You are not going to spend energy as you did during the day. In the next few hours, you are likely to sleep. So carbohydrates are required to be fewer as are calories. However, fats and proteins are what you should be consuming at the latter end of the day. Your carbs should be coming from whole foods such as grains and rice, vegetables and salads in smaller and more controlled portions. Snacking on food is a good and healthy way to keep your energy levels up. However, this could be the undoing of all your hard work if you overeat or if you over snack. So guys, just to conclude that when you break your fast, and this is for people who are doing intermittent fasting, when you break your fast, it could be at 12 p.m. That is your breakfast. That is when you're breaking your fast. And you may consider to have two to three meals per day, including a snack. Now we have asked you at the beginning of the course or this week to start to look at uh, reducing the amount of uh, meals that you intake once per day. We also want you to be aware that when consuming carbohydrates, it is better to consume carbohydrates at the beginning or in the middle of the day when you're going to be expending more energy. Your body will prefer to burn those types of macronutrients, which are quite easily stored into fat if they're not used as energy in the, at the beginning or in the middle of the day. If you feel that you are skipping meals on a regular basis, such as you're not having your lunch, and perhaps only just having a snack for your lunch, this may be the reason as to why you're not losing weight and also why you're not repairing your muscle tissue because you're not feeding yourself enough with the right macronutrients and also that you're not burning high enough in terms of your metabolism isn't burning high enough because you're not fueling it enough. Therefore, it will begin to crash and burn out. When you come to the latter end of the day and you're going to consume your last meal, which is your dinner, you want to start to consider that actually having too many carbohydrates within that meal is not necessarily going to be a good idea because within a few hours, the next thing that you're going to do is go to bed. Therefore, your meal should be made of more fats and proteins and some more complex carbohydrates such as vegetables or salad. Throughout the day, such as your breakfast and also your lunch, try to choose carbohydrates that are more complex, which have possibly more fiber and also give you more nutrient dense content. Snacking or snacks are a great way to also include really nutritional food groups, such as proteins, fats, and healthy carbohydrates. Having snacks in your diet is a fantastic way to obtain the right amount of nutrition and also not to overindulge in too much food. So please be careful in what you choose for your snack and try to make sure that the calorie content isn't too high 
and that things such as saturated fats and simple sugars are also low.